Got a little something, something here, buddy. What? Yeah. All righty, peoples. Water. We are back in the contaminated dungeon. It's Fade the Public Party with myself, my man's animal, and snacks. Now, you guys have been getting our weekly episodes on time because that's what we do behind the scenes. We make sure shit goes fluidly. We haven't sat down together in, what is it, two weeks now? Two, two weeks. yeah. Two full weeks. We doubled up the anniversary. We were on vacation. I didn't miss either of you guys whatsoever. Literally, it was a dread coming in here today. I know. I'm actually pissed we're back. But we are back because we got business to handle. We had the NFL Combine just recap. So we are going to discuss the NFL Combine. Our biggest takeaways for 2019 fantasy football. We're going to talk about some of the quarterbacks, some under the radar, wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, whatever. A lot to digest coming off the Combine. There's a lot of overreaction. I think there's some underreaction. So some guys that, uh, that you might be able to sneak away with in your league that will be big time players down the stretch we're also going to talk about the rumor mill Antonio Brown Le'Veon Bell a lot of trade rumors circulating around the National Football League Duke Johnson Jordan Howard a lot of shit going on right now so uh there's a lot to talk about somehow and it's March 5th it's a good month boys this is I'm a good excited. month free agency starts in a week next Does week it? I believe it's next week <sighs> let's go it's your birthday yeah baby oh, when congrats. I turned 26 on the 26th birthdays aren't special dude Jesus Christ no one cares You're everybody old. has those not a big deal. Sam, he just played you. It's whatever. Congrats. Yeah, but I'm the first one to have a birthday while recording this. You're right. We're going to have to celebrate. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Do you have any birthday ideas? No, not really. Anyone want to see us do something on camera? I won't do it, but we'll make Snacks do it for his birthday. What? 26. No more health insurance. Join That's the club, my man. I do have it through work, but... Yeah, so you're probably all right. Until I probably got fired or something. <laughs> Which probably won't be much longer. Okay, 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 okay. Let's cue the goddamn intro music. NFL Combine officially wrapped up to the novels. It went, it came and went real quick. There are a, a lot of things I feel like saying right now about Save a lot them. of players. I want to open the floor to you guys though, so I can yell at you after you have all your bad fucking takes. Okay, so, well, let's start off with the, the QB position. All of the noise has been around Kyler Murray. Boom. What do we see happening here? He didn't compete at the Combine. Let's start with the, the stature, the right? Measurables. Everybody was nervous about what he was going to come in as in terms of height and weight. Comes in at 5'10. A lot of people thought he was going to be closer to 5'8, which probably, you know, you don't want to be like, oh, the NFL is changing, but 5'8. 5'8, eh. that's too short. 5'8 is too short, right? 207, I believe. So he comes in. He about was chugging water before he got there. Right. So that's the fucking thing <laughs> He's about pro it. day. He'll he be like 195. Water. That's the thing about combine and reading fucking headlines <laughs> is things like you can have a cheat day and the next day you're going to wait. I, I did a 10,000 calorie challenge on my channel <laughs> last year and I weighed on video. I weighed in the day before and the way to, and the day after it was a 10 pound difference. Oh yeah. Crazy. I could do 10 pounds yeah. in a day. No problem. Easily. It's not no a problem. problem. So the weight thing, you knew that he was doing some shit for his weight to, to get that number up because he didn't run. That's the reason he didn't run, right? Because he probably would have ran like three tenths of a second and slower because yeah. he probably ate he knew he wasn't gonna run yeah he's gonna wait till his pro day which he'll probably weigh mm -hmm. like 12 pounds less yeah. i wonder what he did with his height though because it's bullshit he's 510 you don't well, think he's five i, I no, thought he was I gonna don't. be five nine five nine and a half so i mean five ten is not surprising so, so, he, he, so he comes in three quarters of an inch shorter than russell wilson he comes yeah. in three pounds heavier you know what's weird when you watch him play his head looks fucking huge it like does. he, he, he really looks really helped. small yeah. his stature looks small yeah. you're like oh he's a he's a small guy but like the helmet fits so weird that i think it makes him look smaller either way the numbers don't lie. He is the size of some successful NFL quarterbacks that we've seen. Your opinion on Kyler is that you definitely don't want him on your team. Right. I no, don't like not why. Because every metric I've seen, every everything I've looked at, and every time I've watched him play, I've been impressed. He is... Uh, his numbers, metric-wise, are better than Baker Mayfield's. His yeah. yards per attempt, his adjusted Absolutely. yards per attempt. He flicks the ball. You know, his first round was he first round pick in MLB draft. Yeah, yeah. first round pick MLB draft. He's an athlete. He's an athlete. Well, all right, so I, fuck me up, fam. We're not even talking fantasy, right? right? You said why wouldn't you want him on your team? And I think this whole Kyler Murray thing has just come out of the out of the woodworks. Like we didn't even know he was gonna be playing football. What a couple months ago? That was it. I knew. Okay. I knew. <laughs> you knew. Deep down, he knew. <laughs> okay. You knew. In between his ears, he's not all there. That's quite evident. Yes. Max, you have the whatever was said about him today. Charlie Castle said he was like the worst interviewee for a top prospect. That kind of goes that goes some lengths. I just personally for a giant fan, that's just not what I look at. I don't he says he's committed, he's ready to go, all this stuff. He doesn't compete at the combine. He's 
obviously going to go do his pro day. But what about down the line if he gets if he gets if he sprains an ankle or something? Does he decide he wants to go back to the MLB? Does, does he is that crumble? commitment there? Is he is he all in? He says he is. He says the right things. The Dan Patrick interview creeped me out. I that think he's weird. a weird. I think he's a weirdo. <laughs> I am not denying his talent. Yeah. I am not at all because I watched him play. Unbelievable skill set. Ridiculous. I think it him in the Arizona ridiculous. offense would be with Cliff, man. I, I love what they could do. There. I hope to God they do it. I hope to God he takes him. I, know. I just <laughs> yeah. think. Yeah. I Me too, do. dude. I, I hope to God About three weeks ago, him. I placed that bet. $10 on Kyler Murray to be drafted by the Cardinals. It was plus 2000 so. Which means he's probably not going to get drafted by the Cardinals. <laughs> you but, just mushed I just ruined that. Sorry, but I don't Cardinals know. It's, it's not. I, I get it. It I has think nothing to do with his said ability. Between the head, I don't think he's, that is my biggest. I don't think thing. he's stupid. I think it was more the point what you said before. I think he's very cocky mm -hmm. and like he looks down upon these interviewers and he's like, I don't have anything to prove here. Yeah, like haven't but, you watched me play? You see what? I, but fuck out yeah, of here. but like I don't. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe after a while, when you're just being bombarded by people twenty four seven about that, annoying ass questions, it's, it's only going to get worse. I know. If you're a starting quarterback in the NFL, you're going to get Especially bombarded like by you go the media. What I'm saying, but I'm saying, does that does that you think that ultimately affects his play? I think it could. It could affect his draft stock. Right now, he doesn't want to do the interviews, and I could see a team being like, "Fuck this, I don't want to draft him yeah. that early." But like, would would that would him not want to really interview right now affect his NFL play in the future? I mean, no, it's not going to affect. I don't think it would affect his play. But I think if he's like this now, when he went to Oklahoma, a Big Twelve school, it's not even like an SEC school. It's Obviously, a big football program. I'm not saying it's not. He's an enigma. He is an absolute enigma. He is. He is. And that's what I'm really fascinated by. If he, if there was any question in his talent, like he would be. Mm. Oh yeah, he would you know not even I mean? be discussed. Exactly. I'm, he, he would probably go back. But and the play fact baseball. that his talent and production are at such a high right. level, it, they are. And I, it is, like it I said, is an enigma. It really not is. even arguing it. But this whole thing just came out of the blue. I think if the he's guys, six one, no one even cares. If he's 6'1", oh. they don't care about anything. They're taking him. Yeah, 100%. That's, yeah. doesn't yeah. matter that, if he's cocky, number. if he's an asshole. He doesn't want to that's do right. interviews. I just remember, one, you're in. I remember Twitter blowing up and getting, like, all the notifications from, like, Yahoo and Bleach Report. He 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 measured at 5'10". I'm like, oh, my God. 5'10", 5'10". Breaking news. It's like breaking the new news. pope. It's like a yeah. fucking Euro the, the trip. The new pope. Yeah. We have a new pope. The new pope. The, the new pope. I'm coming to you live from Vatican Square. With the College of Cardinals in a surprise move, has just elected a new pope. Let me, let me out. Mika! It's the new pope! Yeah. The smoke has gone <laughs> up, man. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's like, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, but going to a fantasy sense, though. Bro, if he is a uh, starting quarterback in the NFL, he is going to be a good fantasy player. Yes. He yeah. How could he not be? Down the road, how could he not be? I don't know about how how good he'd be his rookie year on the Cardinals. I think that team still has too much work to do. But I, I could I've, see him down the road. Yeah. Someone that I could see next summer, us being like, look what he did over the second half of this year. Mm -hmm. He was right. like the quarterback. Yeah, eight he comes down on the towards the end of the year. You know what I mean? Like that's what I think. And in super flex leagues. If you're picking in a dynasty league, he is m most likely because there's no defined running back at the top of the draft. And the, the 101 this year is devalued because there's no clear 101. Yeah. People are going to uh, argue, you know, all these different wide receivers. There's no clear running back. So Kyler Murray is probably the 101 pick for me if you're in a super flex league. Um, because obviously he's so young and, and there's just so potential. Bad. There's a lot of potential there. Right. And he's just safe compared to play, running backs that you don't trust in dynasty because right. their value goes down quickly. So Kyler Murray, you guys like Dwayne Haskins as well. Obviously, you may be rooting for him for a long time. Uh, very April. well could be, yeah. And I loved what I saw. He's as slow as me, which is great to see. I, I love can, that. I kind of like that too. <laughs> I love that. That made me happy that people like Stephen A. fucking Smith. He's a running quarterback. Like, he's yeah, not. Yeah. He's yeah. furthest thing from it. And... The whole slow thing, he ran a five, whatever, five, five four. Four. But you watch him play, he's not slow. He moves around great in the pocket. He he's buys a pocket passer. We had some, we had some good he can player sling comps. It. We had some good player comps. He yep. steps, yeah, so I compared his combine performance to Jameis Winston's, and the numbers are very, very similar. Measurables, 6'3 and 3 eighths inches for Dwayne Haskins, 230 pounds, ran a 5.0440, and has 9 and 5 eight inch hands. Jameis Winston, 6'3 and 3 quarters. 231 pounds. Okay. James Winston went number one Ran overall. Ran a 4.9740. Nine and three-eighths inch hands. Yeah. They're very similar. I'm going to exactly. compare their last year stats of college football. Okay. 
Dwayne Haskins, 373 completions on 533 attempts, 70% completion percentage, 4,831 yards, 50 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. All right? Jameis Winston, the they number yards one per, overall pick. Do they have yards per attempt on there? I have it on here. I, I want him. I could look it up for you if you like. I want My only him. concern with Haskins is that a lot of his production came from screens and throws like five yards down the field or less, and the receiver's playing a big part in that success. So I feel like the numbers are inflated, but 50 fucking touchdowns? Yeah. No you, joke. you can't argue 50 fucking touchdowns. Jameis and had 25 his senior year and 18 interceptions. He was always still a turnover machine. Oh, yeah. one over they also oh, had, still is. That team was like, I mean, they had Dalvin Cook, I think, there, so they mm-hmm. were going heavy on the run. Right. Yeah, but the point remains. You interceptions can't throw 18 interceptions. The, the and he's the number one pins through. Sorry, I was interrupting you there. I'm no, sorry. you're fine. But, um, I'm excited. I get it. I'd be excited I don't know. Somebody calls me out for interrupting all the time, so suck it. Jameis Winston, Big Ben. Yeah. That was who I was going to say, Big Ben. That's who I see. The deep ball isn't, I don't think it's as good. But that intermediate game, and like you said, a lot of quick slants, backfield. He threw 50 touchdowns. Quickest release out of any of the quarterbacks that were thrown. Who runs the best slant in the game? Odell. Who's the best receiving back in the NFL? Saquon. Come on. How are you guys so bad? doesn't make sense because our quarterback stinks <laughs> he fucking stinks he stinks dude you know what i saw the mil. other day dwayne haskins in a giants uniform i if, if he i drafted there, Dynas, I, I don't know i take i might take him number one because that offense is could be so damn electric if he's there at number six and you guys don't take him i think it's a huge mistake me too the only way they don't take him is if they trade for josh rosen before that if that's if they dude I, mistake i th- this this whole fucking it's so weird this whole saga this, is out of control right now first of all I, I will preface by saying this whole off season is gonna be ridiculous it is i'm super it's going fucking to excited. be ridiculous kingsbury there, there was Shaking reports that up. came out just was, shake up the whole nfl yeah. the there was whole reports Cardinals. coming out that he was going around saying i thought this was a report like I had seen the reports like, oh, you know, there's rumors that they're taking Josh, Ro- uh, they're taking Kyler at one. Facts. Then I saw a report that said it was Cliff Kingsbury who was going, going around, around saying, telling people yeah. it's a fact that they're taking yeah. Kyler Murray. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. This has to be a long game in order to up the value of that one-on-one pick. You don't just go out and start saying shit two months before the draft. Like last year, that's football malpractice doing that. It, it is. It's out of control. Last year, they did this with like Baker Mayfield and Sam Donald. I, I don't think the Browns knew they were taking Baker until like no. four days before the draft. I think Dorsey fi- finally hit his gut. He probably yeah. slept out along and he's like, okay, this is it. You know what I mean? 100%. Like, you know, There's no way you know. You're not going to put the direction of your franchise in, in jeopardy. See, it's, it's a little different though with Cliff though because he... He has the history with he him, loves and he came in, and that was like already the rumor going on. So it had but, to be like. He but had this to have affects some, straight talks on Rosen talking too. Going on this there. affects straight talks. This he, is huge, with Rosen. I, you could, people, Kurt Warner said he's a third round. Third value. round pick. Yeah, yeah I don't get how that see, see, if I'm the Giants, if I'm the Falcons, I'm I'm trading my fucking third if, round. If I can, you know who's third if, round if he's a third round pick, you know where he's going. He's going to New England. Yeah. They yeah. have like three third round picks. They'll give him two. Okay, fuck it. Here you go. I would give up two third round picks for him right now. I'd give up my second. I so I could keep easily, number six yeah. and get an elite defensive player. 100%. I liked what I saw about uh, from Rosen. Rosen's going to be a good quarterback. Yeah, his it, his it, team is offensive line. line. Everything was atrocious. Yes. Yep. Atrocious. He has a strong arm, very good accuracy, short and medium passes, man. I I think he will. If he goes to New England, it's going hey, to be ridiculous. Over. And could you imagine? That's Allen. Allen, Darnold, and Rosen all in the same division. Ooh, Ooh that'd be nice. Think that, uh, just, just hit me if yeah. that, if that oh, happens. The three rookie but Cliff Kingsbury, dude, what a fuck. What, what an enigma. Those two belong together. Gets really fired do. from Texas Tech because he couldn't win shit. Develops Patrick Mahomes, though. Signs as an offensive coordinator. And Baker Mayfield. And Baker Mayfield. Signs as an offensive coordinator at USC. Pretty, pretty prolific job for your next career step. Resigns there and takes the head coaching job for the Cardinals. Beast. Have you seen his girlfriend? Yeah, oh. have you seen him? He's a stud. True. I might, I might rather fuck <laughs> I mean, him than his girlfriend. Between him and McVeigh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's actually out of control. So that's 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 the hot thing now. Whew. Sexy yeah. young, good QB looking talk. coaches. Sexy young, you good, good offense, talks. offensive minded. Yeah, sexy offense, sexy people. Let's get. What this. about Pat Sherman? Pat Sherman's wife looks like Tony uh, Carmel Soprano. <laughs> Does she? Oh yeah, not surprised. Oh yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> that's that's all right. not bad at all. All right, all right. So we got QB talk. Let's, that was fun. Let's talk skill players because that's that's what we care about fantasy wise. I guess the first thing to get uh, get off here is, is DK Metcalf. Don't draft him. If <laughs> if you are watching this now, it's Thursday morning. I'm going to go in depth on tomorrow's video on my top rookie wide receivers, breaking them down. But DK Metcalf, he stands at 6'2", 228, right? That was his combine uh, number? 6'3", 228. 6'3", 228. Almost 6'4". Monster. The guy runs a 4'3", 3 40 yard dash. I was blown. Which away. puts him in basically yeah. the 100th percentile of weight adjusted speed score. There are a lot of problems when it comes to Metcalf as an actual receiver, though. Yes. 
he can't run a route. He can't run a route. Well, we see, um, <laughs> someone said, I saw someone on Twitter being like, he can't turn left. And like, what is he, fucking Zoolander? Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is a locomotive, but so, he can't. So 99th percentile 40, 99th percentile weight adjusted speed score, 97th percentile burst, 91st percentile catch radius, just a 99th percentile spark athlete. Everything is there. But what people that just see those numbers don't see is that he runs all of his routes from one side. All of his routes were based off of him running really fast down the sideline. Runs a go route. He runs a so, go route or something based off that, like a comeback come, route, man, whatever. Man, he was dude. never asked to run over the middle routes and things like that. And you could say, oh, he's never asked to do that. That doesn't mean he's good at him, though. Well, it, yeah. He's it's gonna have showed, to prove it. Showed in the shuttle runs and and, and his three cone drills. He's not terrible. gonna be a good route runner. Did he you can't see that tweet? Feet. Did you see the tweet about Tom Brady? Tom Brady oh, he had, ran had a better time. three cone yeah. and a better whatever it was like twenty yard shuttle or yep. something yep. than DK Metcalf. That's a problem because you think you could say <laughs> DJ Metcalf wasn't asked to run those routes. Okay, maybe he can be good at them. We don't know. But then you say, what, like, what are the characteristics that would make you good at them? Having quick feet, having quick breaks. Yeah. He doesn't have the agility score. Nope. That's what scares you. And so much of his production came on those deep bombs. And I mean, he could fit into an offense, go to like Green Bay, and you know, succeed that way. But yeah, like, but, but it's got to be the you, perfect system. You don't want to waste system. a first round pick on a guy like that. He's going to be a top. I know. Ten pick. He's the way going he, to be. The way he performed, I oh, I could see the Raiders taking him. But anyway, yes. mm-hmm. that's that's who I got in my mind. Well, I think I the Bills love, might take him. I would the love Bills the to take him. And I think that I think they're gonna they're gonna instantly regret it. It's gonna be a monster monster disappointment. Listen, I, I don't. I mean, he's a he's a he's. A, I'm looking at him now. I'm watching it. He's a freak of nature. He's a freak. He's, freak he's athlete. a locomotive. He's freak a freak. athlete. You can't. Turn. He would be a great defensive end. <laughs> yeah, he would be. Like, are you kidding me? He is. A monster, but there are a lot of glaring red flags. Lack of production for a is wide also receiver, a thing. He, those measurables, well, I don't the, love the them. neck injury, right? The injuries he missed two significant portions of two of his three years. Yep. Um. So not his fault, but again, the production is just still not there over a long, consistent period of time. So you don't know what you're actually getting there. So you could love the upside, but I think if you're at the 101, the 102, he is. I think my 104. Four, he's like my fourth wide receiver in this rookie class right now if I'm in a dynasty league only because his ceiling is so high but the, the floor is just so low that there are so many other good wide receivers in this class that there's no reason to you know waste a top pick like that on a on a Metcalf perfectly but, said the ceiling is the roof for him but <laughs> love that I'm, I'm using it every time I can that as floor, long as it fits you can use that it. floor is just dangerously dangerously low I am not touching him I mean when, look at, at his like comparable players I'm thinking about guys like Sammy Coates, and I'm thinking about guys like Chris Chambers, Kevin White, who David was a number Austin. seven overall pick because he ran a four three three, yeah. and he looks like he's fucking sculpted. Darius Hayward Bay ran a four, Fresh like though. a three point one, and the Raiders yeah. took him fourth overall. How'd yeah. that work out? Yeah, what I think, what I think the combine is more about is people get strung up on the top end numbers, the guys who run the four three. Right. But I think what it does is really shave off the bottom end. Yeah, everyone's gonna be an yeah. NFL. You could be very good running a four six, but if you run like a four eight, you're not an NFL athlete. Yeah, if you're a four three, that is far from predictive success. You know? Right. And I think for a receiver, the cone and the forty, the, the shuttle are probably a lot more important than his forty time. Exactly. And he measured terribly on them. Terribly. So. So I, I would, <coughs> with caution, with caution. Proceed with caution. Yeah. Fade the yeah. public is not on DJ Metcalf for the 101 or no, the 102. The, the public loves well, him, so. The pu- that, exactly. This, this is a perfect candidate for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's great. We, you, you realize how hard the, we have the to root against him. The of the year. 100%. Like, I hope he never sees the videos because he's scary as shit. Yeah. He but we, ha- we have to really root against Fucking him. Fucking blast double him. We okay. have to study everything he does and <laughs> point out. out, DK. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say you do? I couldn't even say that. Would you say a blast double? I'll blast double him. What is that? A fucking sex move? No, it's a wrestling move. Like you know, just fucking. Uh, you learned that this weekend on your tackle. fucking six day bender. Oh yeah, we got some bender stories. How, wait, wait I, okay. Them. Can I hold on? How long were you there for? He was in uh, Animal was in Atlantic City this weekend. It felt like he was down there for like two weeks. Well, I felt we, like the, he left the night after we filmed went, this. Returned to back. Yeah, he came <laughs> back five minutes. Wednesday ago. afternoon, I left. Last Wednesday. Yes. Yesterday? Got back on Sunday. I would never wish more than two days in Atlantic City on my worst. I can't even do one. I, I average, my average time getting back to the room to go to bed was around 5.15 a.m. I have Snapchats so, to prove that. I'm going to have to re-download Snap. So that the one, the one that I sent you of me eating the uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese from Dunkin' Donuts right ba- before that. You said bacon, egg, and, and S-H-E, apostrophe S. <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sending Snaps to you, yeah. I feel like, for a long time. I didn't realize that you didn't have it. Right no. before, I, Shit, that, that's a, that's a, that's right a before I got that, I was picking my nose just walking around the casino, and I picked it, like, too hard and got a bloody nose and didn't realize how bad it was bleeding. 
And I was just like bleeding from my nose on my chin. Are you lying to us though? Were you doing drugs before? No, no drugs, just alcohol. And uh, but just picking my nose hardcore. Were you snorting alcohols? Yeah, snorting alcohols. (laughs) And then I I walked right into Dunkin' Donuts and the lady's looking at me like I'm crazy because I have blood all over my face. I'm just like, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese, blah, blah. She's like, "Uh, sir, you got like blood on your lip. I was like, what? So I wiped it off, cleaned myself up. Some guy comes in right after and starts screaming at her. She's like, sir, what can I help you with? I want a donut. What time was this at? <laughs> like 5 a.m. That sounds like me. Let's and go. Oh, fucking the lady's like, what kind? He's like, you should know what kind. What? She starts screaming at her. You need to know what donuts I want. 14 security guards come running in, drag the guy out, leave his luggage there, everything. Just How old right is this out. dude? He was like 60, 55, what? 60. Jeez. Older Makes dude. it so much beastly. Jeez. Screaming, you need to know what donuts I want. I'm just like standing there like bleeding out of my nose. <laughs> I can't keep my eyes I, open. Those fucking employees at Duncan probably <laughs> looked over that life. security tape oh. and were like dying. What a mess. Day. That's hilarious. In like a five minute span, just these two assholes coming in. Yeah, you really Damn, had. That is a pisser of a time. Yeah, I, ate a, a, I didn't know about the blood thing. You didn't tell us about the blood. That was before I cleaned myself up. Some of those text messages you were sending were just like. Make no sense or out of control. A little bit of both. There was just a lot of emotion behind it. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I was gambling and I was, I was winning. And then I was losing. Yeah. And then these two old guys sat down and both hit straight flushes on three card and won fifteen hundred dollars right in front of me. Jesus Christ. And I didn't win. I was just, you know, a lot of ups and downs. It's usually what happens in Atlantic City. A lot more downs than ups. Yeah, yeah I ate a sandwich in a bathroom. It just it happened. I have a snap. I didn't send you that one. I never got sent. I fell asleep. Oh, you and stupid mother. And I had like all the you people. Stupid <laughs> motherfucker. I have it saved though. I have it saved. So oh, you do? All right, oh, send yeah. me that after. I'll fucking yeah. throw, Damn, throw it. I wonder in the how clip. many good snaps I've missed. Probably a lot. Damn. Probably a lot of big business moves we missed out on because of you. you yeah, way you, to go. You sick. All right, I'll re-download. All right, all right. I so sent DK you a Metcalf. bunch. You don't have Snapchat? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, I sent you a bunch. <laughs> DK, DK, DK. Let, DK, sorry. Let's, let's let's transition. Talk about disasters. His, uh, let's talk about recon. some other guy. <laughs> some other guys. Yeah, what was worse? His fucking bender or DK's <laughs> fucking agility scores? Are there any under-the-radar wide receivers? Because, listen, there's a lot of top-heavy receivers. A.J. Brown's a beast. Nikhil Harry's a fucking beast. A.J. Brown. Do you consider Paris Campbell under the radar? Now he is not. But prior to the draft, I was listening listening to a podcast before I came up here, and there was an NFL scout that said he's probably a sixth-round pick. Wow. Wow. Paris Campbell is... A lock to be a first rounder. He's a, I was so impressed by him, and because they, you know, them and the quarterbacks were doing it together. So obviously, I was. He's a little I short. Was locked in on the. He's a perfect slot receiver. Six yeah. foot two oh five. That's that's yo. That's the same size as five eleven. Adam Thielen. Perfect. Pretty much Tyler Boyd, Juju, all those like small like yeah, kind of like fine slot receivers. Yeah, like for slot receiver, his forty time four point three one. I think oh, it's one hundredth percentile. Mouth watering. Mouth watering. And he had great he had great numbers last year. He had twelve touchdowns. What do you have? Like ninety receptions, ninety six receptions, I think it was. Yeah. Who was still on the football, by the way? Anyway. But <laughs> he's got quick feet, good hands. The shuttle, what was it, four point oh three? Something good. It, it was it like, I bad. think that was the number. He, I think it's vertical. Wasn't his vertical like 40 inches or 30 something like that. 38 years? Something, whatever. I Everything have, about explosion that's, was Paris That's Campbell. where I'm yes. exactly looking for. Explosion. Speed, explosion. Put him in the right system. That Dude, like there are a lot. This wide receiver class can change the landscape of the NFL. It's pretty they good. Could change the landscape of the NFL. I feel like it doesn't have those like outside of DK. He's obviously a big name because his his, his body is the size of us combined. I don't feel like there's a lot of like big like number ones. What are you talking about? There's like seven guys I that are six two or two twenty five. Yeah, but I, I was know. gonna say like from college, I wasn't really hearing much about them. But now from that combine, I was so impressed with like four or five different guys. Dude, See, I, I liked AJ Brown the best. I think AJ's six foot two. He he's my uh, my wide receiver two right now in this class. Nikhil Harry. Is the 101. I'm yeah. telling you. He's a big so? He plays like Jarvis Landry, but he's 6'2, 228. He's a one. He's a one anywhere. He's going to succeed anywhere. He was something that broke out as a freshman in college. You need that early, early market share. If you are a good wide receiver, you break out early in college. It's the reason a lot of these receivers that have good senior years but don't do anything prior to that, they're old by the time they break out. They should be having good years at age 23, 22 years old. That's When, when you, you know. have a guy that's a freshman breaking out and then doing it again junior year and then doing it again soft, you know what I mean? Like every year, that's when you know you have something there. You kill Harry, the 101. I will not fucking even look elsewhere unless he goes to Buffalo. <laughs> Average 14.9 yards a catch. That's fine. He, 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 he good. He's six uh, foot two, two twenty eight. He returns kicks. He returns. He does punts. it all. I'm I'm with you. He's he's one on one. He for is me. amazing. I, I love like Nikhil him. Harry. And he's gonna be and Metcalf in actual real football is gonna be drafted before him. So mm-hmm. that's yeah. Nikhil will probably end up being uh, late first roundish something around there. 
Good, um, good for that team. Whoever yeah. gets him. Yeah. I hope it's the Colts. Yeah, that would be a fucking great fit. Who do we have any other under the radars? Because Paris Campbell was, but now since yeah, the combine, that's why so I, that's why I good. asked if you would consider him. Yeah. What do you got, um, animal? Anyone under the radar? Or just or no one slipped by your radar. Running back wise, weekend? I mean, <laughs> do we consider Justice Hill under the radar? I, I think he was because he was. I he think didn't so go too. into the combine. He did not. He's he a wasn't a big smaller. name. I remember watching him in Oklahoma State. I'm like, damn. His biggest concern with me is he only caught like 43 balls in, in three seasons there. Uh, if he he's goes a little undersized team, too. Yeah. But I mean. The first thing I, I wrote down when I watched him play was just fast. He looks like Marlon fast. Mack, too. He looks he like does. an athlete, wide receiver. Yeah. M- long limbs, you know what I mean? More so than like a stocky running He back. looks like he's got a great motor to him. He had, ran a good 40, mm-hmm. vertical jump, uh, broad jump, everything tested well. I, I liked what I saw from him. Yeah, he was definitely the player that benefited most from uh, from the combine. Yeah. I mean, so. I know I know the combine, his combine was cut a little short because I think he like tweaked his hammy or something. But mm-hmm. 4 4 40, test, 4, yeah, 4, 4, 80th yeah. percentile weight adjusted speed score, 95th percentile burst score. Yeah. He needs to go to a place. He's got some explosion to him, too. I, I think if he goes to a place that's going to give him 15 touches, perfect. Because he's not big enough to be the workhorse. He's not a workhorse back. Yeah. But put him in an offense that I, I think probably runs. Uh, from under center a lot. What is he like? I, well, yeah. Would you like him to come in and take Mark Ingram's place? I I think he's like a worse version of Alvin Kamara. So I don't think I would. No, wouldn't fit. I don't think so. I think a guy. I saw like Tariq Cohen, but just he can't really catch the ball. That's well. interesting. I like that. Just, I don't I think he's like a shot size I don't think explosion, he's explosion that, type. But yeah, I, I, you know what? That's not bad. I saw a lot of people comparing him to like Reggie Bush too. Um, I think that's that's a pretty like good comparison. Shitty version of Reggie Bush. Yes, like <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at in this RB class, though. You just have to make those fucking reach yeah. comparisons. Otherwise, but that, I mean, really that's no that, the first person I saw. I could I easily should watch what's more. What's his and name? Will. Yeah, it was a good try by them, but not really. Once the, once I heard about the whole, they have no. Now, money does that to make you nervous at all about like the XFL? That. No, because Vince is running it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, it just the talent though. Yes, the talent pool is not there. We knew suck. this, dude. This was exactly what I said in week one. I was like, it's no. going to be a shitty virgin of the NFL. And no one's going to want to continue to watch a quarterback throw the ball into the fucking dirt. Holy shit. They got guys throwing it's it behind the, their It's head. just the offense. The offense is the offensive play is terrible. The defense. Exactly. It's, no one wants to watch that. Well, though. the defense is good because the offense is so fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good defense. It's chicken just chicken they're the all egg. bad. None of them are going to the NFL. Maybe one or two. All right. Let's talk about some guys that might be going to the NFL. Miles Sanders? Uh, we could talk about Miles Sanders. Is that who you're talking about? I was talking about Mike Weber, but let's oh. go with another. <laughs> let's talk about Miles Sanders first. Let's talk about Miles Sanders. He's a guy I like. He's a guy who definitely benefited from the combine. He sat behind Barkley for two years at Penn State. Finally took over his junior year as as the guy there. Racked up 1,200 rushing yards. 1,200 yards. Something nine like touchdowns. That. So big junior year. Receptions were low. Receptions were low. The, the thing about that, what do you have? 24 receptions, right? Yep. You look at Saquon Barkley, though. Prior to this 2017, when he had like 58 catches, he had 28 the season before that and he had 20 the season before that you know so mm-hmm. it's tough to say like Miles Sanders can't catch the ball because Barkley has two seasons of catching around the same amount of passes yeah, you yeah. know and Miles Sanders has o- he only had this one year to really show what he can do before really- you before you dive a little bit more deep into to Miles do you know what makes him stand out the most and the best thing about Miles Sanders that he was Saquon's backup? No. Why, why the fuck would I care well, about that? I just that? figured you were going to lean towards something Saquon What do you think his related? Twitter handle is? He has Eli in his first name. <laughs> oh. Not wow. bad. No, I, like, that's the only thing I could possibly think of. His Twitter handle is, is Booby Miles. Oh, I oh, saw his that. XXIV. Okay. Oh, that's it. I love him. <laughs> <That's laughs> Booby Miles, baby. Can he pass? I don't know. I don't know. He's an athlete, though. He tested really, really well at the Combine. But like you said, was not involved catching the ball in college and, and just did nothing behind Barkley. But that's really hard to write him off for. But he showed a lot of explosion. And when I watched the film, he had, like, highlight plays. He had some times that I was like, wow, you know, that he could be a real back. But he also had a lot of film where I was like, eh, he's kind of just, just a guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not too excited about him. But just like almost every running back in this class, it's going to be situational. Mm-hmm. You don't have the Gurleys. You don't have the Zeeks. You don't have the Barkleys. <laughs> you don't have the Saquons that no matter where they go, they'll they're excel. obviously going to be boosted by a better team, but they're going to succeed. A guy like Miles Sanders, even a guy like Justice Hill, if you put them on the Jets or if you put them on Buffalo or Oakland, I don't see them having success early on. And that's the thing about drafting running backs in Dynasty too, as opposed to wide receivers. You can get hyped up about a wide receiver that you draft in Dynasty. Their value goes down because they don't put up production in the first year, sometimes right. not the first two years. Running backs have their most production, and their value hits an all-time high in the first year, yeah. first two years right. for the most part, right? It's kind of inverse. And you look at your dynasty players as assets. You don't really look at them as 
um, players that you're going to like sit and start. And that's kind of how you navigate these waters with all these running backs. It's really going to come down to where they end up landing. I like Miles Sanders in Philadelphia, actually. And they have no running backs there, right? They don't have an early down yeah, guy. They, have a, bunch of gone. Names. They, they have a committee. Every Clement, year. Smallwood, Sproles are all like, I don't even know if they're going to be on the team this year. Or in the NFL. Yeah, but Sanders is a guy I think that would be... That would do well That's in a committee. A would do well fit. in a committee. You know yeah. what I mean? Because oh, he definitely needs a committee. Exactly. So Philadelphia is gonna gonna make a committee out of whoever they end up drafting. They're right. gonna draft a running back this year, no doubt. They're gonna make a committee out of it. And Sanders is a guy I think that will need to be in a committee to succeed. Um, and he's an upgrade at almost every level of the running back situation there. So I like him at Philadelphia. Now you mentioned Mike Weber out of Ohio State. Yeah. I, listen, the more and more actually I read about him, the less I like him. So it's usually what happens. Yeah. You know. It, I think that, that, headline that reader? 40 number threw me off a little bit because he... Welcome he lo- to the combine. <laughs> I know. He, listen, he looked good in the, with, in the combine, but yeah. the more and more you read, it sounds like he can't get past, he gets past the first offender and he can't get anything going after that. 5'10", 211, 81st percentile way to just its speed score. He did have 1,000 rushing yards as a freshman. Yes. So that's something to, to keep an eye on, but why did his play dip off dramatically You know, in his sophomore year, in his junior year? other players there injuries whatever he seemed to have played in most of the games but he's someone more so to just keep an eye on if he lands in the right situation because he's got pretty good size he's got good straight line speed he didn't test for burst or agility unfortunately i don't know why none of these motherfuckers ever tested yeah, a no. bunch of pussies yeah i don't know if that was injury related or just no the sca- he was scared the numbers on gonna, television gonna be red flag. dumbass is the only one who tested <laughs> for agility yeah. and ends up in the tom brady <laughs> percentile you know, imagine he didn't test for that stuff Oh yeah, God. people. Yeah, people would probably assume he it's like have, a decent. Of well, he's got ability. balls. Yeah, I give him credit. He's a freak athlete. I'm sure he can make a turn. He can run around. Freak athlete. <laughs> I'm sure, he can make a turn. Make sure. <laughs> 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 like a fucking robot. Yeah. The so. way he makes turns is like when Austin Powers tries to fit the the car between mm-hmm. the wall and he can't. You ever get see out. um like yeah. the Rumba? <laughs> he's going back and forth. <laughs> ever seen what? The Rumba, like the, the vacuums that go by themselves, they have to hit the wall and yeah, they turn. Yeah, they turn. That's like fucking DK Metcalf. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a lot he of good He needs like nicknames. a defender to bounce off of the turn. We're going to have a lot of fun with DK Metcalf. Yeah, we're going to fucking drag him. DK the- McFade. Into- <laughs> Met-, Met-, Met Fade. Met, Met-, Met- Calf. Met fade. fade. Met fade. fade. That doesn't work. D fade Metcalf. Isn't that what you yeah, said? That's better. Uh, what did I say? D you, said, fade, you said both D, of those. D fade Metcalf. Okay, that's. Yeah. I think we should stick that's with that. The one. D fade Metcalf. That, that, that one flows. Yeah, I like that one. So you gotta D throw fade a couple Metcalf. out to make someone stick. You know. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this out here really quickly. Although you've probably already seen my rookie running back video, Devin Singletary is my fucking guy. If he ends up on the Chiefs, I'm I'm a jizz everywhere. It's gonna be a really good time. <laughs> we'll put You're it gonna way. jizz. Ev, yeah, make sure you write that everywhere. I'm right. Are you writing that down? Everywhere. Okay. Tight ends. Oh. No huh. fan. No fan. If there was any question about who you were <sighs> thinking about drafting in, he was the, in a dynasty wet. league for a rookie, <laughs> he was me yeah. wet. it's no fan. I love a good tight end and he, he impressed the shit. He ran a four five forty four five tight 40. end. I'm looking at his player <laughs> profiler page right now. Best comparable, George. George Kittle, obviously, out of Iowa. But <sighs> it's incredible that the top two prospects at the tight end from position Iowa. are both from Iowa. Yeah. Makes well, no they, sense. they breed beasts. Yeah. They breed well, beasts. Iowa's just got tough-ass people. 6'4", 240. Do you know that from experience? You've been to Iowa? Yeah, many times. I don't believe you. No, I've never been there. <laughs> so why are you saying they have tough-ass people? Because <laughs> I know from wrestling. I follow a lot of wrestling. Oh, uh, okay. But those people I, I was, don't always need to be from Iowa to go to no, Iowa but University. The people there, they're just bred that way. Okay. We'll take your word for they it. They eat a lot of corn. No, he's from Nebraska, so... <laughs> Yeah, so sh- enough of that. Nebraska's the same shit as Noah Fant, 6'4", 249. He's got the perfect size. He's not, I don't think, all around as good as TJ uh, Hawkinson. I think his upside is... His upside... Oh, dude, I, I'm almost like penciling him in as a top five tight end in a year or two. Oh, yeah. 99th percentile 40-yard dash. He runs a 4.5. His All of his measurables are 97th percentile or above. Speed score, weight adjusted, burst Broad score, jump. agility, catch radius, spark... Breakout age in the 85th percentile. Yards per reception, 74th percentile. It's all there. There is no red flags. This guy is a fucking beast. He's a beast. I tweeted this out the other day that I might be taking Noah Fant over a running back in the first round of a dynasty league. If you are desperate at tight end, it's hard to come across guys like Noah Fant. That's what I was saying before we went on air. I was like, is it crazy for him to be in that top consideration? I don't think so at all. No, I don't. The only problem is, just like wide receivers, tight ends tend to lose value. Right? right, and like I said, you yeah. look at players on your dynasty team as assets. Right. You're in the market, basically. Right. Dynasty, you're building a real team, pretty much. Just look at it that way. Exactly. You're not so, paying them, but but the cool part about something with that is like you can grab a vet. Like you could probably, I don't know if Gronk's going to be back, but maybe you can grab Gronk and Fant like back to back 
rounds, right? And have Gronk for a year, and then Fant will be ready to roll. But just the overall arching principle there is we almost never see a rookie tight end produce. Um, so we saw Jeremy Shockey in 2002. And Evan Ingram, actually, too, had a good year. Yeah, Ingram had a solid year. Yeah, you guys Fuck Evan you. Ingram. He sucks. <laughs> you don't like him? No. Would you rather <laughs> take. So you're done with him? Yeah, I would rather, I would rather have, have Fant. I don't know about that. Listen, yeah, I think I Ingram's good. He just can't catch the ball. What do you His mean? bad hands. What do you mean? I watch every single fucking play. He's a no, bad he can't quarterback. Catch the ball. That's what he has. Can he block yet? Or not? not really. No, he's not a blocker. They didn't develop him into a blocker yet. He's never. That's why they one. got um. What's his name? Ellison. Red Ellison. Yeah. Yeah. Who should be cut? It's a goat. There's no way Red Ellison should be like making four million dollars on an NFL five roster. seconds last year. <laughs> huh? I, I I picked it, Red Ellison up for a game for last one, year in a dynasty league block. because like I was fucking dude. It's like twenty eight player rosters there's nobody and like my guy was hurt or some shit he was like him or fucking it's like literally jeremy shockey in retirement i was like okay i'll take the guy who's actually gonna play today so hey red red's a good man does red, good in the community good, good he man just should not be making four million dollars a year yeah so no fantasy points but i'll take the goodness of my heart <laughs> but yeah way. i'm all over no fun i he he impressed the hell out of me hey, i think both of them probably mm, actually i don't know if they go in the first round i, I would say hawkinson is probably well he was a first round projection Prior to the combine, he, I mean, he did fine, but Fant just blew him away. I so. think, oh, I think Fant's the number one tight end now. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I was, I mean, fantasy wise, I was, I was definitely on that boat, and I was on that prior to the combine. But NFL, I'm not really sure which way the scouts are leaning right now, or which way the teams are leaning in terms of like it's going to depend on the team that wants him. Like, right. I, I would assume that the Patriots would oh, prefer oh. Hawkinson over Noah Fant. Because you, they they like to use a guy like Gronk on all three downs and to be like a big time blocker yeah, and stuff. Yeah. But we don't get I don't know if we get that part of the game with uh, with Font. So there's this is a pretty good tight end class though. Uh, it's they, def- they have some other guys behind them too. Definitely got there's a lot of guys that scored there. well and did really good at the combine. But I don't know how all that's going to translate into the NFL with the tight end position. I get very nervous with tight ends. Yeah, I mean you should be. But when a guy like f- fucking Fant shows up on here. I think, yeah, him and Hawkinson, I think those are the two locks you can count on. They're going to be good, solid NFL players. Yeah, there's player. Irv Smith, but he's, he, he measured in at like 6'2". He's yeah, not I'm looking enough. at him. He's never going to be a three-down tight end nope. in the league. Situational uh, tight end, <clears throat> yeah. fifth round four, pick. 4'6", 40. Caleb Wilson out of UCLA is another guy to keep an eye on. Uh, there's some other guys, but... Uh, those, mo- those two headline the class. Yeah, for sure. Uh, those are the uh, only ones the you should really San worry Jose State? Ooh. Josh Oliver, 6'5", 4'6", 40. Solid combine performance comparisons, Vance McDonald. Okay. Who's, I love Vance McDonald. He's just been a little banged up. I'm a, I'm a fan of Vance as well. Speaking of Vance, actually not speaking of Vance, but we could speak of the Steelers because there's a lot of rumors going on with the Steelers right now. What do you think AB's doing? Do you think he has a master plan here? I think he's. I, I think he's gone off the deep end. I think he's just <laughs> yeah. He's having like a Britney Spears moment, like where she shaved her I don't head and went football. crazy. He looks like Coolio. He's just doing crazy shit, saying crazy shit. What do you say? Like he's See like the I, shop with the uh, LeBron show. When I don't. I don't. I don't support anything LeBron well, James does. Yeah, what he said on the show. No, I read the quote. I read. I read, I read a, a, an interesting theory that he is acting like this so the Steelers can't find a suitable trade partner and they release him and they release him that then they are the stupidest franchise ever I agree and reset the and reset the market yeah that way they would be the stupidest franchise I would rather trade trade him for a seventh round pick than release him do you want him in your locker room like what do you do he's not gonna show up he's just I mean I guess he has to play or else he's not gonna get paid you don't have to play him you isolate that son of a bitch. If Tomlin has any balls left still to, to man I just that think locker the, room. I, the Pittsburgh fucking front office, I, I feel like it's just not. They're in shambles. Like, they could have done, for the, for the business, like, what did it, they didn't transition Tech Bell, and that would have been the best move for yeah, business-wise. 100%. They didn't do it. They're just like, this is where we want that's to franchise. A th- that's a three-year thing, though. I, they were yeah. they were done. A, yeah. AB yeah. situation came out week 16 of this year. Yeah, I, so, just, I think there's 0% chance they release him. They have to trade they him. Ha- even at this point, if, if you get a third round get a pick or a fourth, pick, whatever, you have to get yeah. something for Antonio Brown. If they release crazy theory and the way he's talking and what he's saying, easily believable. They're not going to find a trade partner. He's so fucking crazy right now. He is fucking crazy. You got to wait till something. Happens. I could see it happen later. Oh, I hope the Jets you know, got. I hope the Jets someone goes him. down. They're like, fuck, we really need someone. Let's just fucking get him. Who cares? But that, I mean, the trade is going to happen early on. It's got to happen. It's not going to happen, happen in like in free trading agency. Camp. Yeah. yeah. So I don't. I, I don't know. Again, I said a few weeks ago, maybe it gets repaired. No, no way. No shot. It's getting worse by the day. I know, but sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better. Mm, I fucking love that dog. You're fucking, I'm you're wise, man. You're I'm, a wise man. I'm a finna cry right now. I think you're wrong, but I think that's I deserve, wise. I, think <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that's suitable to this exact conversation. <laughs> that I, think I, I think I deserve some extra toasty cheese. It's snack okay. of the week. Okay, okay, okay. So we got snack AB, of the week. AB, 
looking like not a snack right now. Le'Veon Bell eating snacks right now, supposedly up to like 260. I want to no know part of him next year, but now I want less than no part of him. <coughs> the Jets, you know, surprisingly take are... Take them. The Jets you. are surprisingly not in on Bell, I saw. What? They, nah. There's very little interest. They, they like Tevin Coleman. <laughs> Fucking morons. Well, they're the Jets. So. They're the yeah. Jets for a reason. Yes. So Le'Veon Bell likely not going to New York. We don't really have any any other updates, I guess, with Bell. Yet. I haven't heard anything. He's going he's gonna to go to like... Miami or something. They're going to offer him a dick load. Which yeah, I think I, he's going to end up going to whatever team's going to pay him. I can him totally out. see him. The only going, team yeah. he he has no care That's in the it. world who ever gives him the most money. Yep. That's and he's going to be fat and right right slow, now. and he's going to he's going to get he's paid. Gonna... He's going to sign dotted line. He's going to get hurt three weeks in. He's going to say, "Oh, yep. what are you going to do? Yep. Shut me down. Yep. Shut me down. Shut her down. All right. Fucking pussy, leave me on. <laughs> leave me on. A couple other uh, running backs. We, we see getting thrown into the trade mill. Jordan Howard of the Bears. I like Jordan. Down down year, yes. It, it, in today's NFL, it's very hard to have production year right. over year if you're not a pass catcher. And he right. just didn't really fit that system. Yep. Get him more athletic. Yeah. I think Tariq Cohen, Nagy's system does not I think work the, I think Howard. the Chicago Bears are one team in this draft that could really benefit from taking a running back. I think there are a lot of running backs that fit that system better than a Jordan Howard and could be a really good complement to Tariq Cohen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Could be an explosive offense. Yeah. So I like um I, I like got David offered Mar- a what they got a third round pick for him, Jordan Howard? Yeah. All I saw was that they are open to trading him. <laughs> or they got they got offered a third, a third round pick. round pick. Yeah, why give him a third round pick when you can get a running back in this class for yeah, third round? Yeah. I wouldn't give it I like David Montgomery out of Iowa State to replace uh that would the be, Bears. Because nice. he is a good running back. He doesn't have the long burst like Jordan Howard doesn't have that either, but he's thick, he's big, and he also catches passes. That's the difference. So what if you put Miles Anderson in Philly? Miles Sanders. Uh, Miles Sanders, sorry. Yeah. And then Philly trades for Jordan Howard. They yeah. want the committee. I think I, they, that. I think they could both. Wait, you think oh, play you off think each other. Okay, so Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders together yeah. in Philly. Yeah. I, Cuz I th- I don't think you're not going to the bell cow three down running backs Jordan Howard is But are not. you are you worried about them not having a running back that's good enough on the passing down? A little bit, but I think You think fucking Sproles is coming back for round 44. Why would I not think that? You're right. That's what there's going to be a third one in there, and why not it be Sproles or? I thought this was his. I thought it was last year. I thought he was done. I thought He's like five years ago was his last. I year. I thought he said like this is it. Yeah, I think. Okay. He, I think right, he so lied to you. Th- yeah. I'm just saying. I, I think that could be a, a little. Duo That's interesting. I didn't you think were about saying that. Miles in Philly and right. Howard could be the early down back. Their running back situation went downhill fast. Well, they lost JJ. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so did Miami. No wonder Miami's so one. bad. They've been out of running back since Brian Westbrook. Yeah, they really haven't. And I hate <laughs> Brian Westbrook. <laughs> That's understandable. He destroyed me for he was years. good. Man. Okay, so Jordan Howard, we think he should be out of Chicago. I think there's a lot of replaceable yeah. backs to, and I'm not, to go into that offense. I don't know where you read third round pick. So Get someone who can was, run, but also catch passes. Why I think David Montgomery Right before the trade deadline in October, a team in the playoff hunt offered the Bears a third round pick. Okay. Idiot. And the general manager, Ryan Pace, declined. Idiot. Interesting. Okay. Idiot. Another guy that's being uh, thrown into the trade mill is Duke Johnson. Mm. Makes mm-hmm. sense given that Kareem Hunt is there. But like we said, I, who knows if Kareem Hunt's even going to see the field this I year. don't think he is because – I'm sorry. We'll get to Duke in a second. I was reading all the tea leaves from, like, the reporters and stuff, and everybody's like, Nick Chubb, 100% the guy. Mm-hmm. Nothing's changing. He yeah. is full-fledged yeah. the running back. I don't see why they would. And that made me a little hard. So. <laughs> a little harder than a chub. Speaking a of um, than chub. the Eagles, that was one of the teams that was interested in trading for Duke Johnson. I could see that. I like that. Oh. I like that fit a lot. Because Duke Johnson is a guy who can run the ball. He's been ridiculously he's a, he's efficient. A talented runner, talented on a, receiver. On a ridiculously he's low very underused last season. That was it. I mean, I think he would be great fit for the Eagles. I think he could be. Okay, so Duke Johnson goes. Let, let's let's play some, some what ifs. All right. Duke Johnson goes to Philadelphia. He gets traded to Philadelphia. They sign, I don't know, who's a fucking shitty bat? I want to, I, they're not going to just have Duke. So they, they get Duke and they have someone else. Do they still have like Smallwood and all those guys? Like Isaiah Crowell. Okay, I like that. Isaiah yeah. Crowell and Duke Johnson. Obviously, you're not drafting Crowell still. Well, I fucking wouldn't touch him. But Duke Johnson, he are might. you interested in, in fantasy drafts? I would be. Yeah. Yes. I'd be very oh, yeah. interested. I like Duke Johnson before Carlos Hyde went to the Browns. Well, you're a fucking idiot. Why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Someone has a solid year before okay, that. Okay, so where where would you be comfortable taking Duke in Philly? If if that scenario, if that's the situation. It would be late because I just don't like Philly running backs. They're they're too too I agree. much on a. They're always a running back by committee. Yeah. So you don't really like them there. If you could get him in like the eleventh, twelfth round. Yeah, hell yeah, he's I'll a spot take start him. guy. He's yeah, a spot he's start a guy, guy. You, on a bye week. I'll yeah. start him, and he could develop into something more. I mean, depends on how. 
I think he was someone that like a lot of people expected him to be not maybe a workhorse, but I mean, given his college profile, they expected him to get a lot more work because he's someone who ran the ball really, really well in college at Miami, obviously stupid involved in the passing game. And it just didn't really translate into the NFL. So if if he lands on the right team, man, I could totally see him making an impact too. Right team, right system. I won't be the one to take him. I'll be, I'll gladly let that train go by me, Mm -hmm. but uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see him succeed elsewhere besides Cleveland which he's, is he's great out of the backfield I mean I would ball. prefer it not to be in Philadelphia but you know 74 receptions in 2017 before the year with Hyde and Chubb yeah. there no he could play that, I mean that's what he you're looking for in running backs nowadays you want a guy who can catch the ball on dumps speaking of another guy that can catch balls or maybe he can maybe he can't we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't seen enough <laughs> of him yet oh it's not who you're talking about Damian Williams in KC <clears throat> Love him. Had the monster end of the year. Now they're, I don't know if it was their GM. Someone came out and said he is our starting running back until until we draft one in the draft. Until proven otherwise, right? He earned that. 5'11", 222. He is built like a horse. Uh-huh. 95th percentile weight adjusted speed score. And he can catch passes as he, as he proved it. So 23 of 24 targets, 23 of 24 targets. That's a high catch percentage. In his last, in his three starts. I'm going to put it on record that I think the Chiefs draft Devin Singletary in the third or fourth round. I think he's a perfect fucking fit for the Chiefs. Put it down, mark it down, mark it down. Put my soul on this. I'm okay, quoting he's it, it down. I'm going to go nuts when they draft him. Damian Williams about to be 27 years old though. Oh, he didn't fuck. succeed. Yeah, he didn't succeed in Miami. But Gase is a fucking idiot and doesn't There's a lot of running backs. backs there, too. Last year was his fifth year in the league. Holy yeah. shit. That's the other thing. It's like... But he doesn't have a lot of use. You come he over to KC. He's not beat up. I'm not, worried about his, I'm not worried about him being able to withstand it because he's big. Yeah, he wasn't um, in the year... You know, he wasn't in the league for five years running the ball 300 mm-hmm. times a, a year. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what it's, it is. If he's given the starting shot there, he's going to be a monster in fantasy. But if they draft someone within the first three or four rounds... All bets are off. All bets are off, and that guy is going to have an open lane to compete for that starting yes. job. Yep. It was the same thing with Kareem Hunt a few years ago. He was a third-round pick. A lot of people liked him, but he was going in like the 10th round. Well, Spencer Ware got hurt, like Torres, whatever. But prior to that, Spencer Ware was like a fourth-round guy. Kareem Hunt was like the 10th-round pick in fantasy drafts. That will likely end up happening if they choose someone because, it's, I mean, whoever they choose is just in the most fucking beautiful spot to succeed. So Must be nice. Damien Williams, over-under, Running back twenty to end oh, twenty nineteen. Wow. I'm going under. Based yeah. Based off well, hold of the on. production. Are we going under as in he's gonna be better than he's gonna better be better than, than RB twenty. Yeah. Okay. Based on his I don't production think much. Sorry, from man. the last three games that he started and the two games he played in the playoffs, if he is the starter for that team, I would definitely say under. I would put under top 15. Forget I don't even it. need to watch him play if you're yeah. going to tell me he's the starting running back. And even if he is a 50-50 punch with someone, I think he, still he should, could be a, a running back should. two or so. Here's, right. a, here's a question. Now – any running back in the on the Chiefs team, top 20, over under. <coughs> Whoever the starting running back is, say it's some guy we don't even know his fucking name yet. It, Tim Riggins. Tim Riggins, <laughs> fine. Easy, probably top five. Yeah. You shitting me? I just think that offense, whoever the guy is. It's absurd. Is gonna, They're in the best place. It's going to give you production. They're savvy with, with their contracts, I think, for, for the most part, and just their player personnel, and they hooked up Damian Williams with the extension right away. Mm-hmm. And that's why a lot of teams run into trouble when they're like, oh, fuck, now we have to extend the guy because we waited too long to understand that he was a good, talented player. Chiefs snacked him up for two, three years, like eight, 11 million, some shit like that. So maybe that was just a very savvy move by them. Maybe they think he's a good one-two punch with someone else. The draft, I think, is going to be the most telling part about what they see with Damian. Right. That's what all this depends on. I take all the fucking points. I'm like, Will Chamberlain, baby. Oh, Let's fuck go. Will Chamberlain. The GOAT? Don't you dare disrespect Patrick Ewing right. like that. He's number two. Patrick Ewing. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he's number two behind LeBron just to get you fucking. Yo, up. whoa, whoa. Can we touch base on that? No. That guy is a put. He's oh. a bum, man. He sucks. Quitter. All right, sorry. I'm laughing in his misery. Okay. Well, that's all we had on the agenda. And since my ass is editing this week's video, I actually don't <laughs> want to put. Short. <laughs> I don't want to put any more content into here. Yeah, because I got a lot of work to handle. Bike and forth. Bike and forth. Bike and forth. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you got problems, right? You finally got a hater. Let us know why. Oh yeah, I love it. It's fine. You don't give any any reason. You just call me a tard <laughs> or like. He sucks. Tell me why. We want to know the big facts behind your, your bullshit. I would love to know. I don't care. You hate me. I actually love it. People hate me means you're listening. And even, you know, it's you're fine. taking it in. It's Listen, love and hate. No two publicity sides of the same coin. is bad publicity. Right. Couldn't disagree exactly. more. Michael Jackson. That's bad publicity. That's bad publicity. <laughs> so who was the other? Someone else. But he's dead, so it doesn't even matter for him.
But I'm alive. But his family, I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. We, we're alive. We're. I'm a grown man. I'm and, 40. and stop with the I'm unsubscribing because of him bullshit. Okay, it's a great challenge. They if don't, you don't, don't, just don't They come on the next week and write the same thing. I'm still gonna. <laughs> yeah, they, I, I love that. I have a lot great. of guys that tell me they're unsubscribing. I, I love being hated. I just, I just want, I just want to know why. Is that so so hard to ask? Why do you want to know? Are you gonna improve upon something? Hell no! I'm doing okay. the same bullshit. <laughs> I'm not I just gonna change it all. I just want to know because I think more. I was gonna say it's snacks. You're getting a little insecure. No, absolutely not. No, I see you coming thing back and i know it's getting to you yeah i know I'm being it's like very to, nice <laughs> I, I know it's getting to you you're like why do these people hate me and i'm like ooh, the yeah. big lights can he handle the big lights is he the kyler murray of fantasy football oh my analysis God. well yeah i'll leave you with camera. that question no it's not all there right here for this guy 